I would ask you to, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in the locked room of this demon. I have would a feeling. Would you do that? I, I, that is not yes how our. No? no, sir, I can't. Would you do give that. me one minute? I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal well, system I'm works. Happy. Oh! That stunning turn of events playing out in a Michigan courtroom today. The enraged father of three girls sexually abused by former Gymnastics USA team doctor Larry Nasser. He had to be restrained by the court guards. The chaotic scene coming after sisters Lauren and Madison Margraves finished reading their victim impact statements on the second day of hearings against Nasser. Randall Musgraves had been standing with his daughters and wife before bolting toward Nasser seated nearby. Nasser has already been sentenced to up to 175 years in prison after pleading guilty to molesting young gymnasts under the guise of medical treatment. The case has sparked broad outrage and led to a number of investigations and the resignation of the entire U.S. Gymnastics Board. Musgraves was cuffed and taken out of court after the outburst, returning a short while later to apologize. I lost control. I apologize a hundred times. I'm not here to upstage my daughters. I'm here to help them heal. I believe you, and I accept your apology on behalf of the court. And let's just leave it at that now, shall we? Thank you. A violent brawl at a migrant camp in the French port city of Calais, leaving 22 migrants injured, four of them critically suffering gunshot wounds. Authorities say the fight broke out between migrants from Afghanistan and Eritrea. It's not clear who fired the shots, but Calais officials say police had to step in to protect the Afghans from a group of about 200 Eritreans. France has sent in reinforcements to try and prevent any more violence. The port is at the epicenter of France's migrant crisis. Up to 800 migrants there stuck trying to cross the English Channel into Britain. A British man found guilty of murder after he drove a van into Muslim worshippers outside a London mosque last year will spend at least 43 years behind bars. One person died, 12 others were injured in the June 19th attack. During the trial, Darren Osborne denied he did anything wrong. Prosecutors say he became obsessed with Muslims angered by recent Islamic incidents in Britain.